Hello and welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. Today we have another robot review. Today we're going to review Boxer. Boxer has a, an engaging personality with dynamic moods. He has a remote control for driving mode. He also has gesture and touch controls. And he also comes with game activated cards and an interactive ball. If you haven't seen this one, you might want to stick around. Check it out. Well, this is the front of the box here with uh, Boxer peeking out of the, the top there, the see-through plastic. And if you turn it over to the back, it mentions that it has interactive touch sensors, intuitive RC controls, speedy balancing motors, multi-directional infrared sensing, uh, micro USB charging, game modes, expressive eyes, and the app connected play, which is probably its best feature. The other side of the box shows Boxer uh, along with the remote control, the interactive uh, ball there at the bottom, and the 10 game activating cards that you'll use to uh, play a game. Or you can use the uh, the app. Just go ahead and open it up here. It is taped on three sides and the box flips open. And the uh, ball falls out when you open it up. So be ready for that. So when you open it up, you'll see the fish scale looking thing on top that's actually a speaker on the top and on the front there's an LED uh, matrix where his eyes will appear and show expression there's also uh, four circles there those are the infrared sensors and the front now on the bottom there is an on off switch there is a card scanner also and then uh, the top there that's a uh, line following sensor so you'll run this thing over the cards to start the games if you don't use the app that's what that top part there is for. And then the uh, there's three wheels on each side that helps it do wheelies and uh, correct itself if it falls over or falls forward or whatever. There's another look at there's a microphone on top too. On the back you'll see a button and a couple more IR sensors and a charging port for your micro USB. And uh, that button you'll use to um, start the games when you run it over a card or if you want to connect it to the, to the online app you would use that button on the back. And then that card reader right there, you'll scan that. If you want to use the cards, you'll run the, the robot over the card. He'll read that and he'll start the exact same game. Or I think the app is easier actually. It does come with uh, this interactive ball. And uh, he plays soccer with it. It's pretty neat. Um, he can detect it with the IR sensors. And uh, it's fun. I'll show you uh, what he does with it. It's pretty neat. So at the bottom of the box there's a blue box and in that box there is a remote control and this re remote control runs on uh, three button batteries. I think they're the LR44 I think is what the book said but they're the small button batteries and um, the, the remote control itself is about three and a quarter inches by two inches so it's fairly small but it does seem like a like a good quality controller. In order to power on the remote control you just uh, touch the top two buttons. On the Xbox it would be the top bumper buttons. So you just cut this uh, plastic piece right here. You pull that plastic out and you will have activated the the batteries. The batteries will allow it to power up so uh, that's what you do there. Uh, in order to turn it off you just let it set for I don't know five minutes or so and just shuts off automatically. They also include in the box a uh, the instruction manual, which is uh, very well written, very well laid out, and answers any questions you have about the robot. There's also a uh, charging cable, and you can connect that direct, uh, directly to your computer or to a wall charger and just charge it uh, from the wall. It also comes with the 10 game cards, and you'll take those game cards, lay them flat on the floor, and you'll run the robot over top of them, and he will load that game that he reads on the card and he will play one of 
of mini games, but there are 10 cards to start uh, in the box. So this controller has the two buttons on top. It has three channels to select uh, on the front. Just make sure there's no other frequencies interfering with the robot. It's got the up and down, left and right uh, joysticks on the front. And um, those two bumper buttons are the ones you press to activate the controller. So I pulled the plastic out and, and I'm able to use it now. And if you can see, the, the it's lighting up. Um, the back, you'll need a very small Phillips head screwdriver to access the battery uh, compartment. So make sure you have one of those if you need to change the batteries out. Once you've downloaded your BoxerBot from the App Store, just um, follow the on-screen instructions and video, and you should have your robot up and running in no time. Turn on Boxer by flipping his power switch to the on position. Boxer will make a sound and flash his eyes to signal he's listening. Within the app, you will see a grid of activity cards. Choose an activity card and swipe upwards to send it to Boxer. Boxer will make a sound and flash check marks on his screen to let you know he was. Well, this is probably my favorite robot purchase so far. We've had lots of fun with it since Christmas morning. We've played with it quite a bit. Uh, its personality, uh, if you want to think of it that way, its, it's personality is pretty entertaining, pretty funny. Uh, the eyes and, and the blinking and the, the things that it says, it, it just makes you crack up. There's some, some apps in there that are uh, just pretty funny. So I think adults and children will enjoy it. I know we did. And some of the games are pretty interesting. There's this one burrito game. If you're wondering if this robot gets hung up in carpet, he does great on thin carpet or short carpet, but uh, we have carpet in another room that's not quite as short, and he gets hung up on it, so check out this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can like the video by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to click follow and share it with a friend. We'll see you next time. Is this a good video? <laughs> no, <laughs> okay.